Got it. So setting up your meeting. This is fun. All right, so it looks like we're streaming. Yep. Um, so we're just gonna double check that real quick. Okay, good. Awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Friday. We got Ashley Weeds here. And before, okay, before I introduce this person, this amazing man that's right next to me, um, <laughs> First of all, say hello, comment down below. Um, if you are watching this replay, put hashtag replay for me. What are you guys doing on this Friday night? Are you eating pizza right now, relaxing, watching a movie? What's going on, guys? Um, so I have met Cody um, about a little over a year ago. And this person, this man right here, he's, he's got so much energy, so much knowledge, so much that he's going to bring you guys to lift you up. What perfect times on a Friday night to do this. And he, <laughs> let me tell you, Cody Rain, y'all. So he is someone that, um, he is going to not only lift you guys up, but what his background is not only creator and owner of AFED ID and the Mantis Mindset Program, a viral influencer on TikTok, over 70,000 followers, father of dragons over here, guys. <laughs> this is Cody Rain. Cody, thank you and, and welcome. I'm so happy and thrilled to have you. Goodness gracious, girl. Thank you so much. Wow. It's so interesting how people introduce me because I, I constantly keep moving. I'm like, oh, that's right. I do do that. And I do do that. And the international best-selling author. And oh, yeah, I forgot about it. Thank you. I really appreciate you. And Ashley, yes, we've known each other for over a year. And uh, it's been it's been just amazing to watch you grow, watch you explain, uh, expand. And every time we chat, I can tell that you're you're studying just a little bit more. You're picking up more and more and more. You're feeling more. You're understanding more of the place that I speak from, which is source, which is core. That is how we communicate with our core audience. That's how we communicate. How is it that I'm able to get 75,000 people to pay attention to me almost every day, right? How is it, can I get people to come work with me every day, pay attention to what I'm up to? It's because I speak to who they are, not who I think they are. It's because I know who I am. So because I understand me, I'm able to connect with you. And everything that we're doing is this constant state of connection and just amplifying that. So thank you so much for, for obviously having me here. I'm excited. I know you've got a few questions you wanted to ask. Yeah, you already open up minds right now. Um, if you guys are like, oh my goodness, like who is this guy? Comment down below because just wait guys, you're in for a treat. Um, so the topic of our conversation tonight, Cody, is um, no one wants to be sold to, but everyone wants to buy. Right. And um, I've been a firm believer for a long time that everyone is a salesman of some sort, whether they're getting paid for it, whether they're not getting paid for it. And when I mentioned that to you a few days ago, you're like, no, no, Ashley. And that's what I love about you is that you challenge me. You, you're you okay to say no and right. flip it and reverse that perspective. So it's like Missy me, Elliott. Uh, yes. <laughs> flip, flip it for a Friday night, flip it. Um, so tell me, you know, why is that not true? And how is it that you are a salesman, but you're not a salesman? That's great. I've been in sales since 1999, right? And so I know what it's like to be a salesman, me trying to convince you of something. You know what you like, you know what you don't like. People are into it. People have a persona. They have a bias on salesmen. I know what it's like to try and get $1,200 from you. And I know what it's like to try and get 35 cents from you for a newspaper. The reality is, is that just the word alone, salesman, doesn't sit well from a core level. If someone goes, are you trying to sell me something? No, I'm, I no, I have a solution. It might be for you. We won't know until we have a conversation. I'm not trying to sell. I don't care if you buy what I have or not. <laughs> I care if you buy for you or not. It's not about me. I've created a solution or I have a solution and I want you to succeed. So if at any moment it feels like I'm trying to sell you something, that's my fault and I apologize. I'm really here to just make sure that you have an informed decision. You don't know what you need until you need it. You don't know what you like until you like it. So we'll find out real quick whether or not I am even for you, right? But I'm not here to sell you anything. 
and the reality with that is, is people feel like they have to be a salesman. We have to talk about the thing and the whatever, and the, the, it's made out of carbon fiber. And you can, you, you know how many contacts you have in here? And like, none of that matters. <laughs> none of it. As a matter of fact, none of us even like talking about it. I'm a tech guy. I can do that all day long. No problem. But the reality is, is we want to be excited about what we're talking about anyway. So if we're in a position going, I'm a salesman deep down, even though I know I'm not, and I have to accept that information, that's part of your conflict. You're going to sit here and go, I know I'm not a salesman, but I have to accept that I am. Actually, I'm manipulating you right now. If you're listening to me right now, I've convinced you that the next word to fall out of my face is worth your time. I'm manipulating you, right? Feels good, huh? Right, Everless, you're welcome, right? Am I selling you anything? <laughs> no. Are you being sold? No. You are convincing yourself that I have something of value that may work for you or may, you may benefit from. That's the reality. And that doesn't matter if I have a cell phone, if I've got a multi-syndicated platform, if you want to become a TikTok follower, it doesn't matter. It comes down to the fact that me as a human being, what I've been through, my experiences, all this stuff has... When you add all of that up, you get me. Either I am for you or I am not. But the one thing that I could always talk about is who I am. Forget the product. Who are you? People are going to buy from me regardless of what the product is. So that's why stepping into your authentic self, that's why standing behind something that you believe in is going to help you open up, feel less of a salesman, stop selling information and start sharing how important it is. Uh, share the benefits, share what it did for you, what it's doing for you, share how you can grow with whatever this thing is. The reality is, is we need to make sure that we are not forcing someone to take care of themselves, not forcing someone to consider your product. We are forcing them to take a look at themselves and go, the type of person I am, to totally benefit. I'm in. What do you got? Show it to me. Let's go. It's really all that. about communication. Yeah, I love that. And I had to learn early on that it's really my experience and my story that I have control over that I can share. And if mm -hmm. someone is interested, they're going to listen. And if they find some value in that, they're going to want to take a look at whatever else I have to offer. Exactly. Now, I, I will say that, you know, and, and maybe you do too, and maybe a lot of people in the audience, I get messages every day through different apps that I use. Right. where it's like, hey, do you want to be uh, a brand ambassador? You know, right. these blind messages that kind of turn you off and hit that block button, hit that delete button, and it, there's no <laughs> authenticity in that, right? right? Right. So, you know, you, ha you have a solution to offer. How, how do you show up authentically on social media just to kind of continue what you're saying? That authenticity, I think, is, is the core, right? Yeah, 100 percent. One of the main look, we, we forget that social media is about being social. <laughs> we think it's about doing social. I don't even know how to do social. Like, what are you talking about? It's not like a thing. It's just, are you are you being social or not? Hello. Hi. Right. Say hello to people. <laughs> like, it's really that that's really what the point of social media is. I Facebook is a tool. Facebook is how I connect with people authentically i'm not out to paint this picture i have three hats on this is how you're going to see me in the studio it's going to how you see me on the street it's going to see me online i even make fun of myself don't don't not listen to me because i have three hats on everybody says this to me every day you know what i'd really take your liver failure story seriously and potentially be your customer if you weren't wearing a hat people tell me this <laughs> what what are you talking about you're seriously saying that you're not going to listen to the answer because I'm wearing a hat. Well, this opens up a whole conversation for me to talk about health. That's a really unhealthy thought. <laughs> Thank goodness I've got a product for that. Look at that. See, my screen is even is, is feeling it, feeling the vibe, right? So <laughs> the, I'm saying hello to everybody all day long. Everybody, everybody that's in my inbox. I'll go through it like I'm even right now. Let's go, we're gonna, we're gonna find someone right now, Sarah. 
Hey, Sarah, what's going on? Cody Rain here. I'm live with Ashley. I am just swinging through to say hello. Just want to let you know that you're on my mind. I could have said hello to anyone, but I wanted to let you know that I care about you, right? It's really that simple. That simple. Getting in people's lives, sharing yourself with them. You don't have to talk about them. You don't even have to talk about you. You can just find something to relate to. And the reality is getting to know people when they open up, as they will, they'll show you when it's an appropriate time for you to mention the solution that you have. Instead of saying, I'm starting a conversation about the thing, you're going, I'm starting a conversation that we can have, and I'm going to mention the thing if it arrives. Other than that, we're going to feel like we're selling and mm -hmm. doing social media instead of being social. It's a really subtle way of being antisocial, which is the opposite of how we communicate with people. Mm -hmm. That's such a that's such a good point and building relationships and if you have a solution to offer you're going to have long term customers if you have a relationship with them and you're there to support them and, and care about them right. Absolutely. Um, and so you know I see I see a lot of people selling on social media some authentically some not so much. Um, and people, you know, think that there's a lot of competition out there like there's an abundance in competition but. Right you and I seem to think that there really is no competition out there. Why would you say that? You're only competing. There's another me out there. Is that what you're saying? There's another me out there. It's just you. What are you talking about? We all have something to offer, but why is someone going to buy from me instead of you, Ashley? You, you, you got to understand this. This is like the reality. I, you're not my competition. We literally market the same product. <laughs> We're all on the same team here. We are all selfless, helping people improve their quality of life. It doesn't matter what it is. We're all in the game. We're all offering a solution for the same reason. We are improving our quality of life. We do it for ourselves. And then we take that and we help other people do it. That is a connection. Who cares what they've done? There's Most people that are successful <laughs> had money to start with. They had a leg up or there was something there. Your success, your progress has nothing to do with what other people are doing. As a matter of fact, they may have gotten your attention, but they may, it may be the completely wrong way for you as a person. This is why I'm a huge fan of individualized systems, individualized approaches. This is why I capitalize on three hats. Tomorrow I'll just wear two, right? It helps me feel safe. <laughs> I'm honest with that information, right? I take that and just throw it out there. Now, there's another guy in a sideways hat, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go, hey, bro, I love your hat. It looks awesome. He's going to go, yeah, man, everyone gives me crap about my hat. I'm like, me too. We're selling the same stuff. We're marketing the same stuff. Both wearing sideways hats. Now we're real competition, right? No, man. What are you doing? Oh, I'm out here doing this thing. I have this really interesting approach. Oh, oh I got that. That's really cool. Anybody that we perceive as competition is our teacher. If we perceive someone as competition, then what's really happening is we're having a battle with ourselves. We've got to look at everything and everyone as they have something to teach and I have something to learn. There's a reason why they're successful. There's a reason why what they're doing works. This is why you surround yourself with people who are constantly moving forward because they're finding new ways to find more success. And they get, we were talking about this earlier, momentum. If wearing four hats is gonna get me to where I'm going, I'm gonna wear five, right? It's gonna happen. And then what happens is people are gonna look at me as competition when I'm shutting them down. I'm gonna sit here and go, take everything I have and do it better than me because I wanna learn from you. I wanna grow too. So if you can wear five hats and, and show me how it's done, please, because I'm having a great time with three, right? If we continue to feel like we're combating other people and they're not our friend or they're making more money so they're better, first off, I know plenty of sad millionaires, sad millionaires. And I know people making less than nothing, happier than a tornado in a trailer park. I was one of them for a while. The reality with that is we've got to look at those people and go, what do I like? What do I dislike? How can I take their approach? and make it completely original. Because the absolute fact is, there's no such thing as original. Everything is derivative of somebody else. Even your hair, you think you did it first? Mm -mm. You were influenced by someone else, it looks great. 
right? So you saw that and you're like, that could be me. Mm-hmm. You look at the competition, that could be me. Those aren't your competition, That's those are your allies. Reach out to them, 90% will say hello. I love that, I love that. And um, I think <laughs> I think just about everybody can learn from that, Cody. That's what I love is that, you know, what you talk about, whatever you're doing in your life, these are tips for, for you guys. Um, so, man, there's so much there. Like, comment down below. Um, give me that that mind blowing emoji of like you're, you're like he's already blowing my mind. Give me ten of them. <laughs> um, so people talk themselves out of buying all day long. Like I, I know for me, Cody, like I I go to Amazon. I'll put stuff in cart. I'll take it out. I'll, you know, I'll just leave it to, to sit there. And, and there's sometimes I'll see something where like I instantly buy and I've just been just now saw the ad and I'm like, it's mine. I want it right now. And I didn't even talk to a single person. So I'm, I want to dig a little bit deeper into why do people actually buy on social media? People, we do everything, everything, everything. Why do you think I'm wearing three hats instead of two? Because I felt like it. I felt a certain way. The sun was a little bit lower earlier, so I wanted to put an extra hat on, right? Feeling, we buy from feeling. It's very, what is that thing? What is it going to make us feel? Or is it not gonna satisfy something so we say no? So the same way that I, you and I will both rack up our carts and not buy, we're not buying because we satisfied the feeling of knowing that we could afford it. <laughs> I could totally buy one button, dude, one button, right? But we know not pushing go is a good idea. That shows how healthy we are, right? We're working on ourselves every single day, right? I'm in the gym every single day, stretching, talking, communicating, doing everything, right? So we've got our regimens, we've got all this stuff. We can, we can practice success. We can bask in our happiness, right? It's a lifestyle. But the reality is, is that people buy from feeling, right? Now, aside from whom you're buying from, it could be anything what is being satisfied when they purchase something, right? So we look at this, we break it down to actual, like like the reality. People buy for three reasons. They want control over something. It could be their health, it could be their fitness, it could be their finances, it doesn't matter. They want control. They (laughs) want approval. They want to either know that what they've just purchased was a good idea or they want approval from other people saying, hey, that thing looks good on you, right? They're going to like me more. Or you're going to like yourself more. That's approval. Or they want security. They want to know that that thing that they're investing in is a secure decision. It's going to take them further. It's going to help them feel solid in their foundation. It's beyond control. It's different. Some people buy for control and security. They want control over the way they feel. So when we understand what we're talking about, the phone here depends on who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to a mother and I wanted to sell this phone or market this phone, I'm not going to talk about, you want to look really cool with this thing. I'm going to say, to be perfectly honest, you're going to want to feel safe knowing that your daughters are on the GPS unit. Just in case they're running two miles during track, you know that they're safe and you can reach them instantly. That's the power of this right here. And that's why it's worth your investment, in my opinion. That security is enough for the right person to go, you're right. And it's right there. I can get it right this second. That instantaneous knowing that I made a good investment for my kids, for myself, for my family, for my future, whatever that is. Or the control. I want to be able to reach these kids when I, you know, it's the same product. It's just the approach is a little bit different. But then you also contrast that against why are you promoting this product why are you marketing yourself like this what do you want control security or approval over do you want to build something from the ground up and have people go you did it do you want control over your emotions right do you want to finally grab just grab them and be more social or do you want to know that you have what it takes to take care of yourself that's the security So we do everything and buy for the same three reasons, control, security, or approval. And if you contrast that against what you're doing here, here's what you're doing. You're offering a solution for people to take in. You are offering value to help people expand their minds and come to solid conclusions. You're helping people get control over their wrangled thoughts, over their scattered concepts, 
and feel secure in knowing that working with you and working with the product is a good decision. In the end, they're going to approve of themselves and go, I did it right and I'm doing it right and I'm gonna continue doing it right. It all comes down to mindset. This is why in order to believe in the product, you've gotta believe in yourself. And that brings up the topic of love, which obviously we don't have a lot of time for. <laughs> Man, Cody, I, I could talk to you all day and I see <laughs> some of me convincing additional <laughs> lives with you. Um, so Cody if, and, and I, I actually the audience. So if you guys have any questions for us or thoughts, you know, that came up during this where you'd love us to dig deeper, comment down below and I'll see if I can convince Cody <laughs> to do another live with me. I got a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so Cody, Cody and I could talk forever, but, um, you know, stay connected with us guys. So, um, in addition to commenting down below, um, you can find Cody at Cody.io. Um, you can also find me at transformwithashley.com here on Facebook, Instagram, sometimes on TikTok. Um, yeah. so Cody is blowing it up on TikTok. Look at this, so. look at this. 74,500 right now. Hey, That's Cody, Cody, <laughs> one of our lives is how to grow on TikTok. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Literally, as you said this, it just bumped up to 74,500, uh, 502 now. Okay. So <laughs> you, you've got to, you got to understand this. Like actually you don't have to understand this. I don't care if you understand, I want you to feel, feel where I'm coming from. When I'm talking to people on TikTok, when I'm talking to people about anything, there's no selling. I know what it's like to be sold. I encourage people. I have something called the anomaly program. Anomaly is to teach people how to market themselves, how to tell the story behind themselves, their product, their services, their organizations, and how to get people to pay attention, right? And when that happens, it's, it's magical, right? So if you don't know my story, I'm a liver failure survivor. How do you take the worst thing that could almost ever happen, happen to somebody and, and tell a story to get people to pay attention to the successes? It's so easy to, to focus on the, the failures of things, but how do you guide people into paying attention to your success after the fact, what you've done? 70, almost later today, I'll be at 75,000 people that are going, that's my guy. Here's the reality. And it doesn't matter if it's TikTok, if it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever. If only 1% of the humans on this planet said, Ashley, you're my girl, that's who I want to buy from, that's 75 million people that go, I didn't know I liked her until I saw her. <laughs> I didn't know she even said that or felt that. You share yourself. We are more similar than we are different, right? Way more similar. We just tend to give most of our attention to the things that are weird or or we don't like or stand out and we develop these narratives around things that don't matter because they're easy to talk about talk to me about love man that place i operate from you want my attention speak to who i am not what you see right you do, you help people get to know you through authentic truth real even not knowing the answer is a way to be authentic. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but thank you for being here and helping me extrapolate these, these crazy thoughts. People go, I do that too. <laughs> me, right? That's how people connect. You're literally helping them look forward to you. Because here's the absolute truth. When you break it down even further, this is like bonus level. This is anomaly program stuff. The people we surround ourselves with and the people that choose us are reflections of who they are and who we are. We are reflections of each other. Help wow. them see themselves in you. Wow. Cody, that was awesome. <laughs> I, I couldn't have asked for you know, a better conversation. We're going to do more lives, my friend. I'm going to have to convince you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I know, I know that we've already, um, you know, gone over our time, but you, you know, it was such value, Cody. I'm so thankful. Thank you. For, thank you for thank having you so me. Much. Let's do it. Let's do it a thousand more times. Let's make sure everyone gets to where they want to go. A thousand more times it is. All right. You guys have a fantastic Friday night. Love you all. Take care.